Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another Dissidia Final Fantasy Opera Omnia video. Today we are going to do a character guide on Fran. Um, Fran is a pretty interesting character. I know a lot of people like Fran. Um, Fran is a character that since I've gotten her, I've actually used her call a lot more than I've used her in the party. Um, but she could be very interesting in the party as well. Um, she is a ranged damage dealer and one of her unique things is that part of her kit, she does do like a ranged imperil, which is pretty rare. So if you want to run teams uh, like with a lot of range damage dealers in it, you can get weakness range damage out of that. Um, but that's not really, I would say, the main reason you'd want to run her. It's for her debuffing. Like her debuffing is very cool. And we'll talk about this in the video, kind of what she's doing with her debuffing. So first, let's go ahead. We'll look at her artifacts and her spheres, and then we'll jump right into the showcase. Um, so for artifacts, um, you want to go with attack 108 and then her C50. So this one right here, attack 108 and then... Um, Enigmatic Viera Warrior Boost 2 star, uh, which increases basically all of her stats by 5% while she has uh, one of her buffs active, which is called Aerial Archer, which if you're playing her right, you should pretty much just try to upkeep that, right? Um, and we'll talk about how you can upkeep that. Uh, basically, it's her 15 CP and her EX. So that's the artifacts. Then we'll go into Spheres. Uh, so Spheres, she's got a unique combo. She's got an A slot and then two E slots. E slots are the debuff slot, so it's not a surprise that she's got two of those. Clearly telling you that's her role is that she is a debuffer, right? Um, on the A slot, pretty typical. You want to do um, attack or brave damage. She does debuff a lot. So any A spheres that trigger on debuffing, she could definitely use. Um, she is a ranged damage dealer, so I like using ranged damage spheres just because I can't use them on most other characters. So I put canes on there, so when she inflicts a break or attacks a broken target... <clears throat> she's going to raise her ranged attack by 6%. So I like that on the refined one. So I felt like that was just a very good use of one of my cane spheres. Um, and then on the E slot, you've got a few ways you can kind of play around her with the E slot. She does do a lot of debuffing, but her debuffs are very condensed. Um, she only takes up three total debuff slots. So what you could do is you could give her one that raises attack. So I, for example, I like Irvine's. Irvine's is a very good uh straight up attack one um especially for a range damage dealer so that's why i went in with kane and irvine because they're both range damage spheres so very few characters can use them to me uh in a, 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 a sphere like irvine's was pretty much made for fran so i figure i might as well use it because there aren't a ton of characters i can really utilize that on so when she debuffs it's going to raise her range attack by six percent so we've got a kane one and we've got an irvine one both raising her attack and then the other thing with e-slots, remember there are a lot of e-slot spheres that can do random debuffs. So you could look at what doesn't she do for debuffs and give her something like that. So um, you could give her more utility. So her own sphere does like a max brave down. So if you want to max brave down, you could do that. Um, I decided to go ahead and put Ferris's on to give her some poison. She doesn't have poison in her kit. So now I'm basically just adding poison to her arsenal. So um, I think e-slots on characters like this can be very fun just because you can add different debuffs to their kit. So I really like that. So that's kind of where I went with mine. Um, so let's go ahead. We'll jump into the showcase here um, and we'll hop on. Actually, this one I wouldn't have to bring Fran because she's doing her own range damage. But we'll we'll just leave the team comp going. That's fine. We'll just play it as we've been doing. But I have used Fran's um, call quite a bit. It is a very good call. Um, so if you're someone that doesn't mind pulling for a good call, like Fran could be pullable just for her call. Um, so the main thing that Fran works around is she has a very important debuff called Viera's Punishment. The reason why Viera's Punishment is so powerful is because it carries a ton of debuffs within one debuff. Um, and it also stacks. So you can see here the enemies are starting with Fierce Punishment at two stacks. Um, if Fierce Punishment gets up to five stacks, um, she does get plus versions of her 15 and 35, which are the versions you want to use. You can increase the stacks by attacking with her 15 or 35. And I believe if, if the enemies take a turn, they might go up as well. Uh, we, we can double check that. Um, but what you want to start with is you want to start with the LD because the LD is going to give you some stacks right away. So let's go ahead and pop that off. And she does get a free ability use here on the next turn. So yeah, that was like a 500k AoE. And you see Viera's Punishment now is at 6. So now we're going to get the plus versions. And it does cap at 10. When it caps at 10, it makes all of her debuffs a lot better. So let's just like, um, I don't know if it'll say in-game. But I've got the list up. Um, yeah, 
So look at all the debuffs you're getting from this one debuff. You're getting defense down, attack down, max brave down, magic attack down, range resistance. So that's the range and peril um, and a speed down. Um, and then, yeah, it goes up by one level with any brave attack, HP attack. So yeah, when she's doing brave and HP attacks, um, we'll see if it works on the party. So let's see. Let's say I just do a, a, an attack here. Is it going to go up when my party? Oh yeah, it does go up. I know that already. Yeah, it goes up when party members attack as well. Yep. So basically any brave or HP attack, it's going to go up. So you can get up to 10 stacks very quick. The LD just gives you that plus five off the bat to really, really help out, right? Uh, so let's go ahead and just do this. We'll just get Fran up in the air. Um, we're, the orb is going to go away very quickly with double range damage dealers in this uh, run here. We'll do that. All right. So moving on to the rest of her kit. So let's go ahead here. So you have the AA. You're going to get a free turn. You could use it on the AA. The AA is going to give you one skill use back of Whip Kick, which is probably the attack I use most often. But even if you haven't used Whip Kick, you can still, it's still worth using because it does apply party buffs, which a lot of the new age AAs do, which is very good, right? Um, so Feral Strike is more of a single target attack and Whip Kick is more of an AOE. So let's go ahead and do Whip Kick. Um, I would probably go into Whip Kick next um, because it does add an additional uh, attack down and magic attack down. And because the thing with Veer is punishment, right? You've got like speed down, magic attack, defense, whatever, all that stuff. But because it's called Vieira's Punishment, you can stack that with other debuffs. So right now you can see we've got Vieira's Punishment, which is lowering, um, or sorry, it's a, an attack and magic attack down. So we're just crippling their attack. So we have magic attack and attack down in Vieira's Punishment, but we also have a generic attack down and magic attack down and they're stacking together. So the enemies start to get very crippled at this point. Um, we've got uh, Vincent coming up. In Vincent, that's kind of the strategy people use with Vincent is you can stack a bunch of debuffs with him and just crippled enemies down. And Fran is a character you can maybe pair with him to help do that. You have to look at how many debuff slots each one's taken up, but there's definitely some strategy there. I know some people like to play the debuff game um, and it can be a fun way to play where like the enemies can still take turns and everything. You're just crippling them with debuffs so they can barely hurt you, right? And then here's Feral Strike. And Feral Strike... Um, you want to keep that aerial archer buff up and feral strike will help you do that. So that's going to refresh that. Um, <clears throat> and then it also like keeps adding to their Vieira's punishment stacks or not stacks, but um, it keeps adding to the turn count, right? So like basically you apply, you should be able to apply Vieira's punishment once and basically her 15, her 35, her EX, her LD, like they all just add on to the turn count. So unless the enemy miraculously like take seven turns in a row right now, or if they have a way to cleanse, they can cleanse it, right? It's gold right now, but that's because it's at max stacks. Um, it's not because it's actually a gold debuff. So that's the bad part. Fran is very tough to play in events where the enemies are constantly cleansing. She actually works out very poorly in those events because the whole idea is, is you want to get Vieira's punishment. You want to get the 10 stacks, keep the enemies crippled down, but if they're going to cleanse themselves, then you got to reset that all up again and it can just really slow you down. So that is one bad part about Fran is she can kind of get shut down that way. Um, but otherwise, she's great. And that's kind of why I like her as a call because you could have, say, like a really insane damage dealer in that slot or a super utility character or something. You can bring in the call, which will throw Vera's punishment on. It won't be like the full 10 stacks or anything, but it's still a very good debuff with all that stuff on it. Part of that debuff, uh, the enemies are taking more Brave and HP damage, which is very powerful to have on a call. Um, so what some people will do is they will, um, or you could even do it as a friend unit too, right? So if you brought in Fran as a friend unit, you could just pop the LD, get Vier's Punishment on, and then just spam her AA four times in a row and get her out of there and get your good character back in, and then they've just got the Vier's Punishment. So that's a strategy some people do, but odds are a BT character is probably going to work better in that spot. Um, so we haven't used the EX yet. So uh, the EX is going to also refresh the Aerial Archer, but then she gets another buff called Mist Acuity. Um, and that's going to lower the enemy speed and then give Party Max Brave and give some extra Brave and HP damage. So that's something that she gets really good from the EX. So let's go ahead and throw that on. And this is the C90 version, so the damage should be pretty decent here. Yeah, that was decent damage. 
and you have to remember with Fran, she's not a primary, or uh, yeah, she's not a primary damage dealer. Like her role is basically to debuff and let the debuffs kind of do their thing, and to have the ranged imperil. I mean, that's really all it is, and that's that's basically it. <laughs> there really isn't much else to say. Uh, we'll just get into maybe one more turn with her, just to show it again. But yeah, whip kick is mainly your. So basically, what you're doing is you use the LD. We'll recap here. Use the LD right away. Get your Vera's Punishment rolling. By the time she comes up again, Vera's Punishment's probably going to be capped out. Then you're basically floating between the 15 and 35 based on what buffs you want to upkeep or what debuffs you want to put on. Uh, Whip Kick is probably what I use most often. Let's just look at the damage here of Whip Kick. This is Whip Kick Plus. Okay. So yeah, 500k AoE. Like, that's not bad for, like, a utility debuff type character. Like, I'll definitely take that, right? So let's go in again. And let's do Feral Strike again, just so we can pay attention to the damage now that we've been set up for a little bit. And then maybe we'll let the enemies take a turn and see, like, what their damage... If they can even, like, hurt us or anything, which they probably won't be able to. And then Feral Strike. Uh, yeah, that was... Was that one and a half mil? I think that was one and a half mil. So, that was pretty good. That, one and a half mil was Splash. I, I want to get her up again. I gotta watch those numbers. That seemed really crazy to me. One and a half mil was Splash on her... 15 attack that's pretty darn good um yeah i think we need to see that again we do we do we'll just swap over to her there yeah and that's the bad part about like um so enemies like the ones that cleanse they typically do it at thresholds right so these enemies so far they haven't done any cleanses but if they do that's that really stinks because her 15 and 35 attacks get really weak because you need five stacks basically what the way you can think of the LD is basically like anytime the enemies cleanse, you can pop that and it doesn't take you too long to get back to it. So it's not the worst, right? You just LD right away and kind of get back to what you're doing. So she's definitely functional in those type of events. It just depends on how con consistently they're doing it, right? Let's do another Feral Strike. Let's watch the damage here. Am I crazy? Is this one and a half mil? No, I don't think it was. I think it was like 500k and then like I think a different attack came up behind it because 500k sounds more like what it should be. So um, anyways, guys, there you go. There's Fran. Uh, very fun character. If you like her, you like her. You can definitely get some use out of her. She's definitely a debuff style of character. So if that's your style, definitely go ahead and pick her up. She's definitely not a must-have. More of a niche character, but a very useful LD. Uh, hopefully this helps. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you all on the next one.